So right off the bat, someone is trying to cover up something here when it comes to the two of you. Someone is trying to cover up something that is suffocating them or changing them in the process. Mm -hmm. This is someone who has somewhat of a temper. This is someone who is given into their weaknesses and is trying to cover something up when it comes to how they lost you or how you now perceive them. This is someone who is trying to cover up the wounds, the struggles, the losses. I feel this is someone who has somewhat of a temper when it comes to the changes in their life, the separation between the two of you. They're not really wanting to talk about it, but you're being brought up often. I feel they're also trying to cover up how they feel about you to others. This is someone who is playing a victim. Because there's gossip and talk. Someone is not wanting to kiss and tell or let someone know the truth. This energy is sitting in a space where they're living in the past. This energy is sitting in a space where they're living in the past they know they are guilty they know they are filthy someone knows that they have done something that is beyond repair i feel like this energy has a very negative attitude or they're trying to cover up how they truly feel about their deceptions but they're still stuck in a space where they're being defensive about playing the victim and testing the boundaries with you i feel like this energy was somehow testing your loyalty testing your love complaining being inconsistent and being dishonest while they were playing the blame game with you. I feel this is someone who is wanting you to be quick to defend or quick to make a move. Someone wanted you to move first. This is why someone was inconsistent with you. This is someone who is trying to provoke something out of you. They're knowing that you're quick to express the love that you have, but this energy is also saying that you're not saying enough. You're not saying what you truly mean when, in fact, you are. You're the only one being honest. This is someone who is being inconsistent because they're testing something. They were testing the love, the loyalty, the energy between the two of you. Now they're playing victim. Now that everyone knows the truth. Someone knows the truth when it comes to someone who is guarded and immature. This is something that is intense. While someone was being ruthless and weird, someone was also saying hurtful things when it comes to you. I feel this energy is a poor communicator. Double standards. Someone is definitely not listening when it comes to their two-faced ways. Someone was trying to evoke some type of jealousy or provoke some type of reaction when it comes to you. This is why they were erratic with their behaviors and being ruthless with their energy. I feel this is someone who caused something to be overly intense because of the poor communication, them avoiding something that needed to be said. Someone said some very hurtful things and did some very hurtful things to their behaviors. This is someone who puts up a front. There's a double standard when dealing with this energy who is guarded and never listening. This is someone who made something more complicated than it needed to be, a power struggle. <sighs> something was a power struggle when dealing with someone who was completely insecure. This is someone who never listens because they believe they know it all. This is what makes them hard to understand or even get to know because they always make things more complicated by being on the defense and causing something to take a false narrative, a bad turn. They made a lot of assumptions when it comes to you and the connection. This is what also created this power struggle of someone being ruthless, weird, or rude. I feel like this is someone who was being this way for a reason, just to get a reaction out of you, just to blame you for the downfall, just to make something more complicated so they can have their way. I feel this is someone who is never listening because they want to give in to their insecurities and weaknesses. This is someone who is loud when it comes to their assumptions, but they're shut down or cold when it comes to the company they keep. This is something that keeps them in a bad way. This energy also has bad personal habits. Please take it how it resonates, but there's a lot of drama surrounding the company they keep where they're trying to put on a front like they're harder or less involved than they actually are. There's a lot of secrets here. 
I feel like this energy is keeping you at bay with the disrespect so that they can keep their secret when it comes to the company they keep. This energy has a lot of bad habits and this is what's causing something to be unforgivable for someone who knows they've made you wait. Well, shoot. This is someone who doesn't want judgment. Someone knows that you're going to mirror something back to them. This is a mothering energy here. They see you as a nurturer or someone who truly cared. But now they're thinking about how they were bored with the routine. They wanted to see what else was out there. So they took a risk. And now they feel like you don't want to talk. You're too fed up. I feel this energy is unclear about their goals. They're very demanding, but this energy is never giving the same energy that is received, which causes something to be overwhelming and very suffocating for many of you. I feel this energy became more of a problem than they were a solution, causing many of you to retreat or back away. Allow this energy to have more access to what they were wanting, what they thought they wanted. Hmm. But I feel in return, it only cost them what they truly needed. Because they were really loud about this disrespect. But they're really humble when it comes to giving an apology. I feel like it's a power struggle. Someone is still stuck in some hurtful or harsh ways about self. Let me get one more card here. Two more cards. So it seems someone has definitely made a power struggle here overly sensitive energy who is trying to be masculine someone is definitely in their emotions but to seem like they're not weak this energy is trying to be rude or disrespectful this energy had a lot of hurtful words through hurtful behaviors this is someone who gave in to the darkness this is what they're trying to cover up their connections the crowd they chose to be around what it, they're invested in and the fact that they're having a lot of losses these are things that keep them guarded there's a lot of disrespect here as well. Someone doesn't want to talk about what's really going on in their life, how deep something goes, and how the power struggle with you caused them to have a big downfall in life. Because a lot of things they did, it was just unnecessary. This is someone who just made some things way too difficult. The thing that's power struggle, making things more intense, more complicated than it needed to be while this energy was wearing a mask and being inconsistent with you. I feel there's a lot of victim mentality from someone who is still being immature about a situation. A lot of things left you shaking your head while something flatlined. I feel there's someone who was not capable of letting you know what something re really was. They made things complicated because something got taken away. There was a default in payment. There's a repo or someone just goes to you out of insecurities. Your light. Hmm. Someone knows that you are going to find out the truth. This is why they blocked you out, rejected you, or denied you some type of access. This is why someone dodged something with you, causing many of you to lose interest. I feel this is someone who truly let you down when allowing something to flatline, go flat because this energy was not being authentic. Something died. I feel like this energy was not being honest and I feel like they're just beating around the bush when it comes to a deep conversation. They're not being blunt or honest about something. They're wanting to bounce back, but this energy is also wanting to send some type of SOS. Because in their minds, either wanting to backtrack or create some type of misunderstanding when it comes to their choices, but they know something came to an end because of how they dodged something, but now this energy is wanting to send a, a message of love or butter you up but i feel this is also how they choose to play mind games with you when they really are unfazed and still not being authentic this is why the vibe has changed but this energy is still wanting to bridge the gap give you some type of respect or give you something that they feel would get you to let your guard down but this energy is still shattered and looking for a lucky break when it comes to you but thirsty being extra and still sending some type of subliminals when it comes to the vibe this is why they're being extra this is why they're trying to do the most to get you to look one way instead of another this is someone who wants you to just be lost in the vibe lost in the heart 
fall or a mixed emotion when it comes to something that you're unclear about. Someone wants you to follow. Wow. Many of you may see this energy as very suspect. As you just see the roller coaster of emotions when dealing with this energy is who is always doing the most. Many of you already have enough evidence of someone who is completely guilty. This is someone who was lost when it comes to influences, sneaky links, something that is hidden, a side piece, something was the last straw when this energy had cutting remarks for you. I feel someone had the chance, but this energy was very bullheaded when it comes to being closed-minded, narrow-minded, stubborn. And this is why they were having hurtful words because this energy is now starving or trying to save up. This energy is lacking when it comes to stability. They're struggling. This could be a struggle mentally or physically, even financially, but someone was trying to seek other options or play the field and they played themselves. This is someone who is realizing how far off they are when it comes to you or how wrong they were when it comes to telling you the truth or speaking from the heart because something could be lost while someone is sitting in a space of being lost. This is someone who created a lot of damage in a situation and they're trying to figure something out, how to send this SOS, but they are also realizing their mind games or disregarding you definitely put you in a space of distance where there is really no respect. This energy failed to respect you in many ways. This is why something came to a close, something drifted apart, because someone found another way to break your heart. After many disappointments, this energy is wanting to send some type of SOS. This energy wants to have some type of reaction from you. Someone wants to play a game of tag, but this energy is now realizing what they're trying to do is only a losing game because this energy is now filled with a lot of self-doubt. This energy is wanting to bounce back, but they're terrified. This energy is still being rebellious, acting out when they're knowing they should be trying to bridge the gap. Someone knows they should be mature about a situation and have no filter, but I feel this is someone who always seems to filter or avoid the truth. But this energy is also wanting to send a distress call when it comes to giving their heart or showing you love. Someone knows that you have a lot of receipts and evidence when it comes to their choices. This is another reason why they're trying to avoid you, avoid a heart to heart, because they know that you see through them. Wow. I feel like this is someone you've had to become less reactive and more proactive with, especially when it comes to how they choose to deal with you, how they choose to disrupt your life in so many ways. But I also feel this energy has been trying to avoid your energy and your light because they know they're going to have to just come clean at some point. I feel there's not a lot that this energy is going to be able to manifest or get past you. I feel the more that you are stepping into your light, your energy, it's become your primary language. Hmm. Wow. But things are definitely not adding up for this energy. Things just don't feel the same. It just doesn't feel the same with someone who is struggling to get by. Someone knows they really screwed something up. Now something is delayed, something is hesitant, this energy caused something to be on hold or be temporary because of their imposter ways. This energy was being a fraud. Now they're trying to numb something out, self-medicating, and coming out as someone who is more complex than they ever were before. This energy is coming out as a spiritual narcissist. Someone who put you on the back burner to create some type of facade. A stolen identity. Someone was just faking it when it comes to a squad, a frenemy, someone they trauma bonded with. This is why they couldn't keep it real with you. This is why they were being petty, being a fraud, breadcrumbing you, because they just couldn't be an adult about it. This is someone who is always making noise, but always creating setbacks in return. Now they're wanting to backtrack when it comes to a key player that they are being very petty about. Because now that they are chained to this situation or this squad, they're now seeing who the real enemy is. I feel this is someone who just 
didn't see something until it was too late when it comes to a key player that is now a setback. Something that they now want to backtrack on, someone is going to regress, something is off the tracks, and they're losing a lot in the process. This is someone who is chained to a trauma bond. Someone they now see is just as petty as they are, but I feel them being empty or having meaningless words put them in a space where they're just watching from afar and going through a struggle, completely shocked and feeling like you wronged them. This is someone who is shocked they're going through the struggle and you are not. But I feel you have no time for someone who never seemed to be sorry for the setbacks they call for, they caused for you. This is someone who is always trying to backtrack on their word, causing many of you to just take the high road. Someone thought that you were going to be all in your feelings and won't see the red flags when it comes to them showing off or flexing. And I feel this is the reason why they're shocked and bitter, salty all in the mood because this energy was throwing shade but now this energy is sitting in a space where they see that you're doing something different than they expected this energy is tiptoeing about or tiptoeing around what they really did how they criticized disrespected and judged you because they were investing in something that was wrong Something that was just a pipe dream. Someone ghosted you or took the coward's way out where there is no closure, no peace. Someone is now soul searching, yet still being dismissive and bullheaded when it comes to a situation. This is someone who just doesn't get it. They don't, they don't understand why you took the high road. Now they're caught up when it comes to influences, feeling like they have reached the limit, overwhelmed you because now they're pinching pennies and feeling blocked out while many of them, their things are being repoed or lost in the process of them being lost. I feel this is someone who is trying to be unbothered while they're having some type of moment of realization that the game is over, that you're not going to be a, a sheep or a follower. They're trolling you, they're watching you and still being extra while there's time apart. But I feel there's this energy wants to reach out. There's communication delays. This is someone who left you waiting for too long because they were sitting in the energy of flexing, being extra and living in a fantasy, feeding a false narrative. And now they're sitting on the rebound. I feel the energy that they were trying to give you is the energy that they're now sitting in. This energy is on the rebound, and this is why many of you are suspect, knowing that they're thirsty, but the vibe is different. Someone may want you, but they may not deserve you. They're still trying to throw some type of low-key digs or some type of subliminal, wanting some type of lucky break, but many of you are already fed up, and you already know that some things is just not what it seems. This is why something is flatlining, because someone just didn't give in. Now... You're on a glow up and someone is in hermit mode because they know the tea is about to be spilled. Someone is spreading rumors, there's drama, there's gossip, and someone is wanting to get away, run, escape. But the vibe has changed and your heart isn't the same because someone was bullshitting you. Now someone could be in savage mode when it comes to being a people pleaser because something's about to be put on blast and you're already spiritually woke to what's going on. I feel many of you are now seeing them as a black sheep, someone who is a complete brick wall now that something has just been a long road or you were there for the long haul, something is now hands off because many of you just don't know who this energy is after all the highs and the lows. This is definitely a spiritual and emotional roller coaster for many of you where someone disappointed you in a very big way. This is someone who changed the vibe, hoping that you would follow, but this energy is very shocked by how you handle things. In fact, many of you had to do a lot of things that you never thought you would. This is someone who is still tiptoeing around the fact that they thought you were going to be all in your emotions about something. They did a lot of things for money or they did a lot of things for clout that they'll never speak of. This is someone who knows that you'll see the red flags. Someone knows that you're cautious. Someone knows you're completely over this. Not today. 
For many of you, you really don't have time for someone who is always shocking you with crazy things, always doing things to get a reaction. Someone is just all talk, empty promises. This is someone who is always doing things from an empty space, and they're never sorry about it. There's not a lot of remorse for someone who is always avoiding accountability. This is why you've had to take the high road in a situation where someone is facing a lot of losses, delays. You have to be unbothered by this. So, as I said before, this is someone you had to start being proactive with instead of reacting to all of the things that they do. Someone knows that you're over all of their antics and you're no longer giving in to the emotional history of this relationship because they're always trying to breadcrumb you into a situation where they're still going to be petty and they're still going to have very little effort to give. This is someone who's really not ready to grow up. Someone is not ready to be themselves. This is why they're hesitant and causing delays when it comes to people they know they shouldn't trust. This is someone who feels like they're just figuring things out, but they're only causing more trauma, more pain in the process. This is someone who's experiencing a very low vibrational frenemy or trauma bond that's taking them down a path where there's many lessons to learn but I feel these are the lessons that only a spiritual narcissist would truly know anything about. This is someone who is trying to numb the pain by trying to self-medicate. They could be drinking. They could be trying to numb the, the pain away distracting themselves with substances. Still giving into the squad, still trying to make something a soul bond or a soul tribe, but the vibe is wrong. They're still swept up in something that is wrong and they know it. This means she feels like they had so much taken from them in the past years or the past six months that they're too concerned on how to make things right or get out of this mess because they're still thinking they can win this game. I feel this energy is still holding on to something, wanting others to see how bold or confident they are, but they're losing. Everything is being lost and nothing is being paid in full. This is why they're numbing the pain, self-medicating, drinking their problems away, but their problems are going nowhere. This is why they're wanting to send some type of distress call, some type of urgency. Someone is about to do something very erratic just to get your attention, no matter what this attention is. Someone wants your sympathy. Let's get some more energy here. Holy Spirit, what are the messages here? Someone is realizing they might have to stay where they're at. This is someone who realizes you may not open the door and let them into an emotional space that they were once in. I feel you could be awakened to someone who wants you to be swept up. Hmm. Someone who was playing a game that they were never bound to win. Someone is definitely getting a taste of their own medicine by playing the games that have now got them swept up, over involved, and definitely in deep when it comes to a miss that they cause or the game that they choose to play because these losses that they are taking they are definitely running deep hmm. this energy is coming out as the mysterious energy someone who is trying to accept something this is someone who needs to go within because things are unraveling regardless this is someone who is searching to replace you feel the void. This is haunting memories from someone that they no longer have because they walked away. How they walked away, how they broke things up. They want to leave it behind. They feel like they're in too deep. Someone's in too deep or how they took a roll of the dice. This is someone who's trying to accept the journey of something falling apart and how they took a risk, but they didn't accept or even weigh the pros and cons. This is someone who didn't weigh the pros and cons. As it seems, they just left something to fate. This is how something began unraveling. This is how something fell apart. This is someone who ghosted you, disappeared, avoided a confrontation. This is someone who is now swimming in the memories of that as they are now miss missing you silently. A mysterious energy who is completely 
lost. Someone who is drowning in unstable feelings in over their head and drowning in their own misery. Hmm. This is a profound energy surrounding them that is trying to get them to go in the right direction. But this is someone who is getting lost. Something is getting in the way. This could be a karmic influence, a foe, someone who is a third party energy that is keeping them lost in their mistakes and their lessons as well as their sins. As it seems, this energy is completely drowning in their sorrows and it's become a heavy regret. Someone is definitely in heavy regret when it comes to their choices. Things are definitely not working out because they didn't master a sense of self or even positive energy. This is someone who didn't give in to their uncomfortable karma. This is someone who tried to make something more easier just by making things way more difficult than it needed to be. Now they're upset about the choices they made. The roll of the dice, the fact that they didn't show their hand, or the fact that they were careless with their actions and only thinking about what they could gain. This is someone who is hyper focused on the, the gain or hyper focused on the finances, the status. This is someone who is driven by their own lust, their own rage. This is someone who is only thinking about the material. This is why they're going through an uncomfortable space of karma and still trying to refuse the energy of reclaiming or even having any feelings towards the guilt the guilt that is attached to their karma i feel this is someone who doesn't want to have this guilty conscience when it comes to their heavy regrets this is why they're still repeating patterns and being careless and only thinking about what they can get this is someone who wants to come your way but still is learning lessons as they feel there is too many fish in the sea. This is someone who has a lot of scattered attention, a wandering eye, someone who is now reaching for a sudden sense of closure as they are boundlessly finding a light. Someone is definitely going through this uncomfortable karma because they need to see something for what it is and they just might have to go through blood, sweat, and tears just to get there as this trauma bond that they have made is full of pain, lessons, and regret. I feel this is someone who is sitting in a very heavy space when it comes to a blinding light, their fears, a higher power, something that is attached to their closed-minded ways or mentality, where someone is always taking a risk where there is no reward. They're flaky when it comes to responsibilities and even love. This is someone who wants to unexpectedly meet up with you. This is something that is fated to happen, but this energy also needs to deal with unfamiliar energies or unfamiliar feelings of being alone or even struggling. This is someone who is dealing with something that is very foreign when it comes to emotions, their fears, even when they're thinking about their careless, careless actions, they're still thinking about the road to home. Something that is a long-term investment. Someone knows that nothing else compares. Nothing else can fill the void. And this is why they're still reckless and still searching. But I feel the more they search, the more this energy understands the struggle is real. This is why this energy is wanting to circle back to you. This is why they're wanting to send a message of knowing that nothing else compares. Someone is wanting to discreetly figure something out to really handle these uncon unconventional feelings that they want to avoid but I feel there's no avoiding what they're choosing not to attach themselves to there's a lot of dense baggage when it comes to someone who is still hiding something something is still untold when it comes to information where someone is drowning in the path that they chose and still being silent and complacent when it comes to their thoughts Someone got so close, but it's still so far. Someone wants to give in to what they believe or what they think of you. And they still feel drawn or attached to you. But this energy is still dealing with someone who is an enemy in disguise. This could also be their energy as well. As they're always curious and still getting into cravings. But something's about to be purified when it comes to their soul. I see you reaching new heights and going through the motions when it comes to healing what is broken. But this is someone who is still tied and bound to you in some type of way. 
someone wants a mutual ending or mutual respect, but also feels in so many ways time is now. Time is now. Many of you have already moved on. This is a solo path where someone is still running out of time, but still keeping time. There's endless waiting when it comes to this energy, whether it's been a long separation, whether that is emotionally or physically, but someone is still in the process where they are learning lessons. And this energy is also in the pro process of evolving. Whether that is for the good or the bad, this energy is in motion, whether they are running from their problems or running right into them. This is someone who is coming out as mysterious energy, who knows that nothing else compares to you. But dealing with this unfamiliar energy is something that they feel they just cannot do. This energy would rather suffer than to give in to the sacrifice. This is why they're dealing with this uncomfortable karma. And this is why they're in too deep because they have still yet to be awoke, awoken or tapped into this enigma, this change, this transformation, their guilty conscience, something that is broken, something that they tortured and put in flames. Someone is trying to reject what they know they're going to have to give in to. Still trying to give in to these choices that they believe they have. Someone's about to realize there's no choices left. This is someone who gave in to their mistakes, who is now learning a lot of lessons for falling victim to their temptations and weaknesses. This is someone who's on the run, not just from self, but everyone else. This is someone who has made a trauma bond with someone who is completely unloyal or restless, draining their energy instead of tapping into it. This is someone who wants to circle the block, come back your way now that they see the light. Now that they really see how destructive or disloyal something or someone is, but they're too busy trying to accept something about it, that they have yet to surrender to what their heart already knows. They're just worried about the split between the two of you. Someone feels like your energy is divinely protected and you're in the energy of letting go of things that no longer serve you, but they also sit in the space of wishing they never called your bluff. This is someone who did a lot of things excessively from a very petty space and now they're reflecting on if you will ever see them in a brighter state of mind, will things ever change or will they have to just suffer from their choices and suffer through this pain? Yet I sense that might be the idea as this is someone who has put you through more than enough. And it's just about time someone starts to experience the same pain that they were dishing out, if not worse. Let's get some more energy here. Final day, call the story of my messages here. This is someone who needs to heal the baggage of an inner child or something from the past that they failed to heal. This is why they're always letting the wrong people in. I feel this is someone who is silently missing you, but still awakened to something when it comes to a squad or someone who made things too comfortable, thinking the grass is greener on the other side, someone overly committed to a situation. But I feel there's a sign of euphoric. There could be some arguments about leaving or someone being too overly involved or overly invested in thinking of you. I feel it's kind of obvious. Someone is definitely a chat to growth or the work that was done between the two of you. Someone wants to give you recognition. Someone wants to give you gratitude or attention, but someone really doesn't know how to do that. Someone doesn't know how to have this heart-to-heart -heart with you, come from an authentic space, and I also feel this squad is keeping them in a very lost space. There's third-party energy here. As I said before, this third-party energy or this false environment keeps them lost, keeps them in a dream state or of trying to persevere or overcome something. This is someone who has yet to find closure, change, or relocate. This is someone who is still not moving, and there are some trickster ways behind it. I feel this is someone you may look first before you leave or even give them your energy because you want the truth out of the poison, out of this third-party, something that was 
heartbreaking, something that was disappointing to you. There was grief behind this situation because the only way you see yourself helping or being gracious to this energy is if you are able to heal self. This is someone who's still confused why you're in the process process of loving self. Confused by what they're hearing or what they're listening to. Someone is still not balanced. Someone is still not having clarity through a breakthrough. Someone still doesn't have any stability or foundation when it comes to life, love, energy. This is why there's no trust. There's no apology. There's no forgiveness when it comes to someone who needs to mend something with you. I feel there could be fast change here, though. There is fast change for someone who is accelerating in the wrong direction. Someone really believes they know what they are doing, but this energy is failing to bring any trust or harmony to a situation because they have no faith in purpose, balance, stability. This is someone who has yet to transform and even grow. But I feel this is someone who still sits in their pride and their ego, not really knowing who they are. Someone still can't give you what they don't have. I feel this is someone who is lost in the memories, lost in the sauce. This energy is still stuck, not moving. Something is very stagnated because of what they chose to listen to. They didn't confirm something. Someone accused you of something that they now know the truth about. Someone is in deep regret for being misled or giving in to something that has no purpose, something that was poisonous that now has them stuck. I feel this is someone who is accelerating in the wrong direction, but due to something clouding their ju judgment, this trauma bond became a bond that is really hard to let go of or receive any help because of. This is someone who has made a lot of choices in the wrong direction, and a lot of people are refusing to help them because of it. I feel like there's a lot of energies here who are looking at them differently. They have changed the vibe of how others see them, not just you. But I feel this is what needs to happen for something to be more clear to someone who is very lost about who they are and who they should be. Final messages here. Final messages here. Yeah, you know, I feel like there's some protection over you right now when it comes to someone who wants access but really doesn't deserve it. I feel this is someone who is still rolling the dice in the wrong direction when it comes to their light and a third party. Someone who is still being sneaky, believing the grass was greener on the other side. This is why they're not moving. This is why they're not mending and sitting in a re euphoric state when it comes to silently missing you. Someone knows that they crave your energy. They crave what you bring to a situation. I feel they think about that often, but to not stress or feel like they're going crazy, someone tries to avoid thinking about you as a whole. This is someone who still thinks about the stress of the past, their growth, their maturity, their inner child. Someone doesn't want to let go of something in the fear of what they'll lose. But I feel this is someone who needs to overcome something by being driven. This energy wants to be a warrior. They see themselves as a warrior. But I feel this is someone who has no power, no courage, no pride. No strength to get through their weaknesses. This is someone who is still not moving, still not finding closure or change because they're starting from nothing. Starting from the ground up, this is little to no change, but this is someone who needs to do a lot to receive any change because this energy has done a lot to really screw things up. I feel this is someone who sees themselves as a warrior, but they're lacking in faith, they're lacking in hope, and this is why many of you have taken a chance in a different way or taken a risk in a different direction while someone is still trying to grow from what they've been through. I feel whatever you've been doing lately is completely on target. I'm not sure what you've been doing lately to get this energy to really see things for what it is. I'm not sure it's your silence or the distance, but they're definitely realizing something has to change. This is someone who is still putting on some type of facade, still putting on a show. This is someone who is still hiding a truth and something 
in some type of illusion why they wear a mask. This energy is trying to pretend like they're not a brick wall. This energy wants you to believe that they are approachable and ready to talk, but this energy is still holding back and wanting to take many things to the grave. This is someone who is definitely starting from nothing to get to something, but they're still taking risks where there are no rewards, and this is why they can't even mend their own broken heart, let alone yours. Which is causing me to feel like this is why things are always going from 0 to 100 real quick. As this energy is really lost in what to do with their emotions and how to navigate them. And this is why things are always changing. This is why things are always a closed door. Because of their fears of what they're hiding. The darkness that they were wanting to be lost in. Someone is drowning and overwhelmed by their own secrets. Things that are hidden. Things that will eventually be found out. But instead of telling a truth and shaming the devil, someone is being foggy or blurred about what really happened. Someone is still not being clear because they're still lost in the karmic cycle. There's a lot of unfinished business when it comes to this energy, whether that is related to you or not. Many of you are moved on and you're doing that unapologetically. I feel you're doing something to break the chain. Break the cycles of lessons attached to them. Many of you just want your freedom, your peace. You want to be sane. This is someone who does not bring you peace, but I feel they are at a crossroads to change their course, to create balance. Many of you are doing something different. You're guided by spirit. You see the signs when it comes to being guided by a light. Many of you are tapping into your own success. Many of you are tapping into something new or just finding your own peace and closure from this because you deserve it. This is a time where you will find more comfort, more security. You're no longer taking risks and this is why you're bringing in balance while someone is receiving justice through karma fairness where they will be receiving regret and guilt for the disappointment they've caused because many of you may look first and some you may not even look at all because this energy needs to transform before they ever gain your trust again I feel like this is someone who is caused a lot of pain so much disappointment, frustration, and headaches that this energy is still trying to muster up some type of courage to come your way. I feel like this energy somehow feels like a new attempt may somehow give them the new advantage, a new outcome, as it seems they're still holding on to the past and still a little bit salty about some things that are better left unsaid, but still undone. As it seems their pain and regret will soon turn into this guilty conscience when it comes to something never being resolved, something never receiving its real respect. Many of you are guided to do something different, be unbothered, become the same brick wall that they were because they're going to have to stay in their own precise mem memories, what they have left or what they have of you. I'm not sure what this is. But whatever it is, it's going to be all they have left. Nothing but memories. Yet I sense the fact that you were so genuine from the start puts this energy in a very harsh position where you're in the position to heal and bear. Still stuck in the burden of knowing how things ended was really on them. 